The Russian heavy unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, Altius, Altius RU, crashed during a test flight near Kazan on July 8, 2025, immediately sparking discussion across Russian and international media. Yet, beyond the crash itself, the resumption of flight tests for Russia's largest and most ambitious UAV project marks a pivotal moment. This incident, more than a technical malfunction, highlights the Altius program's complex journey, one defined by innovation, setbacks, and shifting geopolitical landscapes. Let us first discuss how the Altius program began and evolved. To understand the significance of the recent crash, we must look back to the project's origins. In 2011, Russia launched the Altius program, aiming to establish itself among the world's leaders in high-end military UAVs. The objective was clear, develop a drone capable of both reconnaissance and assault missions, with a maximum weight of 5 tons. The so-called Design Bureau in Kazan, renowned for its UAV expertise since the Soviet era, led the effort, soon joined by other major Russian defense enterprises with decades of experience in aviation and unmanned systems. By 2017, two experimental prototypes had been produced, with the Kazan aircraft plant handling final assembly. The project entered a new phase in 2018, when development shifted from the Simonov Design Bureau to the Ural Civil Aviation Plant, UZA, bringing renewed focus and resources. After resuming flight tests in 2019, the Altius was declared ready for production by the end of 2021. However, this apparent progress concealed a lurking technical challenge that would soon surface. The program now faces critical technical hurdles. As the program advanced, a critical obstacle emerged, dependence on foreign technology, specifically the German-made Red A03 diesel engine. This 500-horsepower 12-cylinder engine, also used in the Yak-152 trainer aircraft, was chosen for its efficiency. At the time, Russian policymakers assumed foreign technology could always be sourced abroad, making domestic engine development seem less urgent. This assumption proved costly. Russia never localized the Red A03 engine, leaving the supply chain vulnerable to international pressures. In 2022, the geopolitical environment shifted dramatically. German authorities, responding to sanctions and concerns over military exports, suspended engine shipments to Russia. The conviction of the founder of Red Aircraft for illicit exports the following year stifled future cooperation, halting progress for both the Altius and Yak-152 due to the lack of a viable power plant. Seeking alternatives, Russian engineers turned to the VK-800SM, an 800-horsepower turboprop engine under development by UZ Gay. While promising, integrating this new engine required extensive testing and significant modifications to the airframe and onboard systems, a process demanding both time and resources. Let us now understand what happened during the 2025 Kazan crash. It was against this backdrop that Russia resumed Altius flight tests in 2025, signaling either the use of new control and avionics systems in existing airframes or the adoption of a temporary engine solution. On July 8, during an approach for landing at Borisoglebskoy airfield in Kazan, one Altius drone crashed. Reports suggest that unidentified electronic warfare measures disrupted its satellite navigation forcing the drone to switch to inertial navigation and ultimately miss the airstrip, crashing into a residential area. Thankfully, there were no injuries, and the resulting fire was quickly extinguished. This incident not only tested the technical resilience of the Altius platform, but also highlighted the ongoing challenges of operating advanced UAVs in contested environments. What are the key technical features and capabilities of Altius? Despite setbacks, the Altius remains an impressive UAV. Designed to carry a wide range of guided missiles and explosives, it boasts a payload capacity of up to one ton and a maximum takeoff weight of around 8,000 kilograms. Its orational range is expected to reach 7,000 to 10,000 kilometers, with a service ceiling of 12,000 meters and an endurance of up to 24 hours. 
equipped with advanced avionics, including an active, electronically scanned array radar, inertial navigation, and satellite control. The Altius is built for versatility. Its mission set spans electronic warfare, airborne radar surveillance, reconnaissance, and strike operations. Notably, its ability to operate autonomously in contested electromagnetic environments distinguishes it from many UAVs in service today. Why does the Altius program hold strategic importance? The Altius program holds considerable strategic weight for Russia. By fielding a UAV capable of precision strikes and deep reconnaissance, even in environments where GPS and satellite navigation may be denied, Russia enhances its military flexibility. The recent crash highlighted the significance of these capabilities, subjecting the drone's systems to real-world electronic warfare conditions. International comparisons often place Altius alongside the American MQ-9 Reaper and RQ-4 Global Hawk, establishing it as a significant contender in the global UAV market. The engine supply challenges faced by Altius highlight the risks of relying on foreign technology for critical defense systems. This situation, situation has fueled a broader shift in Russian military-industrial policy toward greater self-sufficiency and resilience in the face of sanctions and political pressures. What does the future hold for the Altius program? As the Altius program moves forward, the successful integration of domestic engines like the VK800SM is crucial. While recent test flights may have used older airframes to trial new avionics and control systems, the ultimate goal is clear, a fully Russian-made UAV capable of meeting the demands of modern warfare. Failures and setbacks like the recent crash are inevitable in such ambitious development efforts. Rather than signaling the end, they provide valuable data and experience, helping engineers refine and improve the design. The resumption of flight tests demonstrates Russia's continued commitment to the Altius program, suggesting that as new engines are integrated and further testing is completed, Altius will play a central role in Russia's future unmanned operations. In summary, the Altius UAV program stands as a testament to Russia's drive to modernize its military and achieve greater autonomy in defense production. Although the recent crash in Kazan garnered media attention, the real significance lies in the program's continuous advancement amidst technical and political obstacles. Achieving a fully domestic engine will mark a pivotal milestone, enabling Altius to realize its potential as a cornerstone of Russia's unmanned aerial capabilities. As the program evolves, it will continue to attract attention at home and abroad, serving as a measure of Russia's strategic ambitions and technological prowess in the 21st century. Now, do you think Russia will take another five years to rectify the problems and select the engines, and they will be outdated by then? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.